Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a, a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo ThinkPad E14. So in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can repaste, clean and the whole inside and outside of the laptop. If yours is running a little bit hot and you want to just do a maintenance because they do have an iCore 5, they do get overheat a little bit and you want to keep the temperature low because they do shut down once they reach a high temperature. And I'm gonna go over the tools first uh, we're gonna use for this service. Number one is an alcohol. It must be an 98 or 95 over plus isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. I'll leave the link in a video description. You will need a workshop towel. These are really good workshop towel. You need one sheet of the workshop towel or two or whatever, how many you might need. A good thermal paste, Arctic MX4, it's really good to use on this brand. And you need a toothbrush, use new, but don't reuse it on yourself, a toothbrush. Also, you need a screwdriver. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set, as these are one of the best screwdrivers out there to work with. They have an S2 class steel bit, that means they will not wear down and they will last you many years. You're gonna be using a Phillips number one from this tool set. Also, if you get the Pro set, in, they will include you with an opening tools and a few other stuff. If not, for the opening tools, as I do, get a uh, guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick, a tough one. It's really good to open in cases and covers. All right, with the, all this on hand, we're going to get it started. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. Just remember, by doing this, you're not going to modify the system or anything like that. So don't worry about losing your files. You're going to flip over the laptop. And this one has a little broken power for the RJ45. So the client broke it anyway. So we're gonna loosen up all the screws. All the screws down here, they have a little C lock on the other end of the screw. So it will prevent it from falling down or coming off. So first we're gonna loosen up all the screws and do a turn until you hear a little click that it doesn't turn anymore, like a, it's really loose. Do the turnings on all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we loosen up all the screws, you're going to open up the, grab the guitar pick. This laptop really has a bad handles on the side. And what are we going to do? We're going to stick the opening tool between the bottom, you can open up the laptop if you want. You want to stick it between the bottom cover and the top cover right there, palm rest. And you just want to wiggle it outward, work yourself all around on the, to the corners. You want to hear those clicks. I don't know if you guys can see it. So I'm putting it there, I'm just jiggling, wiggling it right there. So pretty much wiggle all around, the front to the back, to the side. I usually do the front and the side, and the back should come out pretty easy. So once I did the front end and the side, just grab it and wiggle it around, and it will release the back end. So this is the bottom cover, and you can see it is very dusty. It's a little crumb, so I don't know what. Take it outside, blow some air, and clean it with a toothbrush. All right, down here we can see the whole motherboard and everything else. First thing first, we see giant a humongous battery. This is an 11.1 .1 volt battery. 3980 milliamp to disconnect this one don't pull on this tape backward otherwise you're going to damage the cables i'm going to show you the proper way of doing that is to remove the screws for the battery so remove the screws that are touching the battery the tiny small black screws this one is a has a little broken cover i'm guessing no this is just for a stand for the motherboard so leave it on I thought it was attaching to the battery because of the camera. Remove the batteries on the side. There should be two of them. And then grab the battery, bring it here this way. You can pull on battery. These cables are really strong. So you just pull it, slide it this way, and the jack will get released. These are really tough in cables. You can't damage them. All right. Put the battery to one side. Now, this is the BIOS battery in case you wonder where the BIOS battery is right over here. Anyway, down here we can see the whole uh, fan and the heat pipe. There's no GPU. You might, yours might have a little GPU. You might have a little a small screw right there for the GPU. But in this case, there's no GPU. So we're going to remove the four screws that touching on the heat pipe right here over the CPU. 
the screws again they do have a C lock on them so you just pretty much have to loose them up now uh, we can't just simply lift it up because there's a uh, gaffer's tape attached to the fan here so we are gonna untangle we're gonna use a curved tweezers we're gonna untangle the cables from here the bridge cable that goes from the side to here just untangle this cable you can actually lift it up and open it up from let's say this side open up the jack 90 degree upward and pull the cable back it gives you a little more space to work with the fan cable right here don't pull on the cables just grab with your tweezers on the side of the jack and just wiggle around and it should release the jack right there now the wi-fi cable goes around the fan too so lift up the connectors and untangle it bring it back it goes all the way to the other side and put it to one side now we can easily lift up the heat sink bring it up and there we have it and right away i see that there's a thermal paste right on the main die of cpu and there's no thermal paste on a secondary die which it should have it's really important to have and people always say what is this chip and what is this side doing and what is this uh, die this principal die is a cpu cores and everything for the cpu and this one right here is called a pch chip before a few years ago they used to have a, like a two separate chips one over here with a crystal die and the cpu separate so pch chip what it does it just connects all the usb file transfer ios everything goes to a, a pch chip so pretty much to save cost and make it a little better so they integrated a pch chip inside the cpu uh, pcb or cpu chip but it is good to have a thermal paste in here so it cools down the in pch chip anyway so if because if the pch chip overheats you will not disconnect it will not recognize any usb ports anything like that if yours is not detecting any usb port it's because overheating of the pch chip all right now the, uh, with all this said what we're gonna do we're gonna open up the fan and clean it up first we're gonna remove this gaffer's tape or you can purchase your own gaffer's tape to put it on top or you can reuse it if you want if you take it up nicely so remove the gaffer's tape put it to one side and the fan is right in here there's a little gaffer tape on the back side too but in here i see that there is no dust anything like that but you still can open it and clean it there's a little sponge on the side you want to remove this sponge from here and the gaffer tape goes all around to the other side there we go. this side you don't need a gaffer tape because it stays really flush so only one side now that we have that one in there i think that this one is really glued to this one yeah the fan in this heat sink is attached to the main plate right down here so pretty much you can change the gaffer tape yes or no that's up to you grab a phillips double zero and remove the screws on the bottom plate right in here they're really tiny screws there should be two of them once you remove those the whole fan system should come out pretty loose there's a little tiny clips you don't want to open them too much just a little bit one half a millimeter and the fan will come out pretty easy as you can see there's a little dust particles down there not too much but there is some so you want to take it outside blow some air through here from out use a toothbrush clean it up and grab your fan system right in here use a nice toothbrush and gently clean it and blow some air through here and do from both ends so you can reach the other side of the fan and once you clean this one blow some air through here you want to take your laptop outside again with a toothbrush clean all the crumbs that is in here everywhere else and you're going to continue so let me clean this one and i'll be back 
All right, guys, now I clean up the fan really nice and I clean up the dock system right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the fan right on top assembly. Make sure these clips, they go right in here. Tiny, tiny hinges on the side. And it has to go from the side inward. So let it paint. But this thing has to go underneath. And just twist it right there. And put the two tiny screws that you removed, Phillips number double zero. And don't do what I did, I forgot to pull the cable out. The fan connector is st stayed right underneath. We need that fan connector. So I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible for you guys. So pretty much keep this fan connector on the other side. And there we have it. You don't need to put a gaffer tape in here. All you need to do is to put it on top here. So it can redirect the air right through the heat sink. Okay. Now we're going to clean up the thermal paste on here. We're going to grab a little bit of the workshop towel. We're going to soak it in an alcohol nicely. And we're going to rub the old thermal paste that is glued right in there. And use a dry part and rub it nicely, make sure it's nice and shiny. You're gonna use the same one to just rub over here and clean up the CPU. Just go around around and clean it. Now you can use a dry part to just polish it nicely, make sure there's no dust particles or anything on top. Okay, now we're gonna grab our thermal paste. You're gonna put one tiny line on the main die and one drop right on the secondary die. Right there. You wanna grab the fan. Before I put the fan in, I'm gonna just tangle the Wi Fi cable right in the air. It's easier this way. Okay, and then I'm gonna set it down. Align the screw holes and we're gonna screw them down. Always there's a little number, it says one, two, three, four. But as long as you cross screw them, you're fine. You're gonna to switch to Phillips number zero. So this way the heat, the thermal paste will spread evenly over the CPU. So there we have it. We're gonna slide down the fan connector right through the jack. Let's grab it and slide it right through there, all the way in. Plug in, push down the Wi-Fi antennas right on the jack. There we go. And bring the cable for the bridge connector and slide it right inside the jack connector. Make sure it goes all the way inside. There's a little tiny earlobe has to go all the way in. And you want to close the lock right over. Now we are pretty much almost done. We're gonna grab the battery. Before we put the battery in, we're gonna align the jack right there and push it evenly through the jack and we're gonna squeeze the connector all the way in. And now we're gonna set it down, the bottom side of the battery first. And put the two screws that you removed from the battery right beside them. And this is how you do your own repay servicing. It's really easy, not too hard. And uh, once you do it once or twice, it becomes really a good habit. Grab the bottom cover, put it straight on top. You squeeze the mid, the sides a little bit. You don't need to squeeze too much. Now we're going to tighten up the screws and that should be all. Also, if you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up. Tightening up the screw down here.